welcome back to my channel. We are going to be unboxing two figures that I still can't believe have been released and exist right now. And they are the 1 8 scale Nana figures by Hobby Max. So we have Hachi <laughs> and then we have Nana. Oh my God, I cannot. This feels so surreal to me. Nana is one of my top shoujo animes. I absolutely love how realistic, I feel like it's at least more realistic than other shoujo animes or other slice of life animes, right? I feel like these characters are so well written and so much more realistic and uh, I can go on and on about how much I love this series and what it means to me. I'm a little thrown off. I was a little thrown off when I got these figures because the box is huge for how small the figure is. And the figure is a 1 8, which I'm not really used to getting anymore because I feel like my recent figures, my recent scales at least, have all been like 1 7 So I got like 1 7 1 7 after 1 7 and the occasional 1 6 and quarter scale so now getting like a 1 8 just feels like so off to me but anyways let's get right into it please make sure you like and subscribe and let me know wh what you think of this fig these figures and um what you think about the series because i really feel like i feel like it's a really underrated series I think the only reason why I see, do see people talking about it is because it's on my For You page and I interact with that content, so I'm obviously going to see more of it, but I really feel like in general, if you were to go and ask an anime fan if they've watched Nana, they've probably heard of it maybe, but I don't think they've watched it really. We are going to unbox Nana first. Um, I also just want to show you this, the back of the box. I love how they photographed this. All right, we have the little instructions at the bottom. Um, the inside of the box is just like, I don't know, just this like watercolor-ish red design. Nothing special, but nothing plain. Ah, okay. God, I'm so not used to this being a 1 8th. Okay, <gasps> whoa, this is the base, you guys. Ooh, I'm kind of scared to handle this. This is very unique <laughs> and I really like it. Um, there are metal pegs where she can stand on and she's on her base. In terms of the style and the outfits and the entire aesthetic of this figure, I absolutely love it. I feel like it's so unique and I love, one of my favorite things about this series besides the story is the fashion and the clothing that these characters wear. They are so stylish. It's very, hmm, how can I say this? It's very telling of the time that this was made. Like you can, you can tell this was like er, early anime days or early manga days just by the clothing that they wear, if that makes any sense. And I love it. I absolutely adore it. She looks so cool in this outfit. The tights are real, which I was not expecting actually. The shirt reminds me, or like the sweater that she's wearing, the texture of it reminds me of the Asuka figure from Radio Eva. I believe it's Radio Eva part two. And I am a sucker for textures like those in figures. I feel like it's so artistic and I absolutely adore seeing them on these figures. I think it's so cool. Her makeup and her face, her eyeshadow is just done so well. Like, I cannot explain it. She looks absolutely so cool. Uh, I also really love her the shading on her collarbones. I feel like there could be a little bit more shading on her skin in general or on, on her body as well, but the the collarbones are so cool. I don't know why I'm so mesmerized by that. She's just such a cool character. Now moving on to the base, I really not only love the coloring, but I love this effect, this gradient effect going on um, from color to transparency, moving from bottom to top. I love that despite it's plastic, it makes it look like glass. And I don't know if anybody has had this experience growing up, but this looks like one of those glass figurines your parents or your grandparents would have displayed around the house of like flowers like this how this base is lo looking except just like clear crystals 
or like with little accents of birds or butterflies. I think it's so cool. I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about, but that's what it reminds me of. There's this one section on the vine where there's like this seam line that I don't really like. I don't know why it's there. It's not very noticeable because it's near the bottom, but all in all, I think I'm just very taken aback that we have Nana figures and I'm just really, I'm just really happy that we do. I think she looks so cool, so freaking cool. And I hope, I don't know how well they've been doing in the marketplace right now, uh, but I hope they are doing very well so we can hopefully get more. Uh, but yeah, that is Nana. So let's move on to other Nana or Hachi. And I think a lot of people can connect with her character. She's just so important to me. She is one of my favorite female, um, anime characters. I also absolutely love all her outfit changes in the series. Every one of them slays. Oh, okay, and then she's got a yellow water type vibe going on inside the box. Ooh, okay, so this is very different. Her base also has metal pegs too. Okay, so I finally got her on her base. Just like Nana's, the base feels very, I mean like this has got to be the lightest scale figure base that I own. It's very, very like thin and very light. Her base is extremely different from Nana's style wise. She's got this outdoor kind of look with sunflowers in the background and the base has a lot of texture to it. It feels like wood. It's very nice. The mud also, or the soil, has texture as well in the back. And the sunflowers are flimsy as well, so I would be careful. But let me just say, I love this look. And I'm gonna tell you why that I really love that they chose, at least for Hachi, this illustration. If you're a fan of the series, you know that one of Hachi's dreams that she tells Nana is to live in this big house with a garden and Nana promises her that she, she'll buy her one. I mean, it's just, here she is in front of, I, I guess, She's on like a porch like ground, right? And she's got these sunflowers that kind of, that represent a garden behind her. Like, it's like she's standing on a porch behind a garden, in front of a garden, sorry. I can't talk, but do you guys know what I mean? Like, this is basically her dream in a figure. And she's got the outfit to match it all, to match the whole vibe. And this is just so sentimental to me. I. It's, ah, uh, I can, I cannot. Um, it's like, I'm so happy for her. Like, girl, you did it. Forget Takumi, like, you did it. You, you're, <laughs> you're here. But anyways, yeah, I just, I, I feel like that is so important. I don't know if that was intentional or not, to be honest. When the art was made or when this figure was made the, or the choice to make this figure was made, but I, I'm glad that they did. Um, I know a lot of people, I, I don't know if it's a lot of people, but I've seen at least a comment on the My Figure Collection page for her and Nana saying that they're upset that they look completely, like they don't look like they go together, that their bases are completely different and makes the figure look like it's not supposed to go together. I understand the frustration in that, but I also think it's kind of a good thing um, for a few, a, a few reasons. A, people don't really have to feel obligated to get both Hachi and Nana, they can just get whichever they want, their favorites and whatever fits their aesthetic for their collection. Also, I feel like these figures represent who they are. You've got Nana in her um, band outfit and that's very Nana, that's very her. And then you've got Hachi with this lighter aesthetic with these flowers and this floral design and different style from Nana. And that's also who they are. They are these opposites, despite having the same name, they are these opposites in the the show so this kind of goes well in a sense it kind of does match the plot in the show these two different girls with or two different women with um, extremely different tastes but the same names and they get along they still go together um, nonetheless do you know what I mean like I feel like even though that's probably not what the sculptors were thinking I I think it still goes well at least for these figures I feel like if it was maybe um, different characters from a different series, it wouldn't 
match as well, but I think in terms of Nana and Nana, <laughs> um, it matches. I, I don't really have a problem with it. But yeah, going back to the figure herself, I love the outfit. I think it matches the background. I think it's very much who she is. Again, it's it's very telling of the time that this manga and anime was, was out, was made. I know a lot of people or some people also said, a few people I think said that they don't like the outfit that she's wearing. I think it matches her perfectly. I love it. I think it's unique. It's this like, it feels very country girl and I, I don't know. I think I think she looks great in it. Her sweater also has the same sweater texture that I absolutely love. I wish it was a little bit more prominent, but uh, you can see it if you look close enough. I feel like the vines on the sunflowers and the leaves are not really shaded at all. I feel like they're horribly like shaded. If at, yeah, if at all, they're horribly shaded. There is some like mud or soil that is kind of on the ends of the the stems but it's just kind of like randomly there i don't i don't know it's it's not very impressive she also has this barbie look and i absolutely love it she is she would be such a barbie fan oh my goodness she is the anime barbie <laughs> Again, you guys, I am just so grateful we have Nana figures. Oh, I did not show you the back of her box. Um, but again, at the back of the boxes have beautiful photography going on. There she is in her garden that she's dreamed of having with her big house. There's no house, but. <laughs> Overall for these figures, more shading would have been nice, but they're Nana figures and they are beautiful and we should all say thank you to Hobby Max for delivering these figures to us. I'm so happy. But yeah, these are these are the 1 8 scale Nana figures from Hobby Max. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you.